Welcome back to the Fullerton Museum where we're talking with folks that are involved in the fundraiser for the WTLC or Women's Transitional Living Center in Fullerton. With me this evening is Kathy Klein and Kathy is a resident psychologist and actually I'd like to let Kathy tell us more about what she does. Thank you so much Kathy. Uh, okay, I supervise the uh, graduate trainees and interns who come to the shelter to do the bulk of the counseling and the uh, running of groups. Um, I've been connected with the shelter since 1989. I've done this job and I've been involved uh, really since it started. I knew some people who were involved early on. So tell me a little bit about the profile of a, of a resident. What, what is it that people are coming to get when they come to The people who come to the shelter are needing support, they're needing protection, they're needing some new ideas and they need to have a, um, to realize they're not alone. They get the help 45 days or 90 days at the shelter. They can also go into our second step, which can help last for up to a year. And uh, they can get the, the help they need to get started. We have a busy and active outreach program, which is involved with setting tonight up. And uh, we have a lot of support from the community, which so now, is very nice. I understand that WTLC does domestic violence, but I also understand there was a memorandum signed on the human trafficking um, yes. situation. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, we, we provide counseling for the human trafficking victims, protection for them, and we also provide housing in our second step for human trafficking victims. Um, they require a lot of help and support with the legal system because their situations are very dangerous. And so we have specialized people who work with that problem uh, who have to get special training to support those people who are human trafficking victims. So why don't you take a moment to, to tell the community what it is that WTLC needs? Right now, because of the budget in California, we need support. We need financial support. Uh, we need uh, programs for the women. If I had uh, millions of dollars, I would buy up a whole block maybe for, <laughs> for places to stay. What drives folks like you to join the board and put all your time into such an organization? Well, I've been involved with WTLC for about three years now. I started originally with the Placenta Roundtable Women's Club that's been involved here for about 15 years and just started out doing small things for the ladies and the more I was here and saw the need I just couldn't say no and just got drawn into this great wonderful organization and decided they needed a lot of help with their facilities and contacted a friend of mine and now we have a great project to redo all the interior of the shelter and that's our project because we just feel these ladies deserve it the conditions are so poor and our clients have been told that they're worthless and when they come into the shelter with the conditions the way they are that just solidifies what they've been told and so now we're renovating everything and our client spirits are lifted the staff spirits are lifted and it lets them know that they are deserving and they need a nice place to stay and you just have to be around the clients and the kids and they just draw you in and it's just a wonderful charity and I it's a privilege for me to be able to be on the board of WTLC. Okay, my name is Armida Goldstein. I'm a counselor at WTLC. That's the Women's Transitional Living Center and for more information on our organization, please log on to WTLC.org. Uh, WTLC also works with human trafficking and as I understand it's everything from um, domestic slavery to sex trafficking. Yes. Um, are you involved with that program as well? Yes, I am. Um, can you give me an idea of what it means, sex trafficking, because we hear this term bandied about, but mm -hmm. you know, what is it exactly? Well, they're brought to the United States under the pretense that they're going to work as maybe a waitress or that a beauty salon needs some help, so they're um, brought over for that. Mm -hmm. And when they get here, it's a whole different story. So how does somebody that's in that situation get help from WTLC? Most of, t most of the time, it's um, the police finds out about the sex trafficking and they bring them to the shelter. And how many organizations, um, law enforcement organizations, do you get referrals from? Um, I mean, um, from all over uh, California. Since right. there's not a lot of shelters that, uh, that help human trafficking, they come to us. Leah is a volunteer board member and also with the Chamber of Commerce of Fullerton. 
Uh, Leah was also responsible a lot for uh, building this event and all of the planning that goes along with it. Leah, um, why don't you tell me about what it takes to put together such a phenomenal event? Literally, it's a year in planning. A year in planning. So, and I see that you've been running around like crazy tonight. So, what drives a person to put so much effort into an event like this? Um, there's two reasons to put on an event like this. One is community awareness. Let people know that we are here in Fullerton and that we need their help and also obviously as a fundraiser. Right. So you've been involved with WTLC for quite some time. What is your driver? What makes you so passionate about WTLC? Um, I know they changed the world by changing the lives of these women and ending the cycle of domestic violence we bring more productive citizens into our community you're watching facets television i am kevin mcdonald and thank you so much for watching